So now every single Democrat on the House Intelligence Committee has come out and said that Republican Chairman Devin Nunes should recuse himself from the Russia investigation or flat out resign his post. Alabama Democratic Congresswoman Terry Sewell was the last to make that call announcing her decision last night. Congresswoman, good morning. Good morning, Chris. You've said you didn't make this decision lightly. So what it was it that sort of finally pushed you over the edge? You know, Chris, I've served with uh, Chairman Nunez for the last four years on the Intel Committee, and we also uh, served together on the Ways and Means Committee. I consider myself to be his friend, and I consider um, our working relationship to be productive. But you have to admit that last week's behavior of my chairman, and then this this week's cancellation of both the public hearing and the classified hearing, is just too much. The American people deserve to have an independent, bipartisan investigation of Russia's inter interference in our elections. That is the purpose. All of the rest is distractions. So I really believe that it's time for my chairman uh, to recuse himself from this uh, investigation. I want to read uh, to you what one of your colleagues, Eric Swalwell, said about the chairman's decision to cancel this week's hearings. He said, in my three years here, I've never seen us have a full week without a hearing. We've made no progress since last Monday's open hearing, and that is intentional. Do you agree? Do you think that the chairman is intentionally just stalling this investigation? Listen, I think that there's no other conclusion but to come that he is stalling it. Um, and, uh, Mr. Swalwell is absolutely right, my colleague Eric Swalwell, in saying that this is the first time in my four years of being on this committee when we've been in session and we haven't had one hearing uh, at all. And it's so really I guess unusual. to what end? I mean, you say you know him. I mean, you've worked with him before. To what end? Uh, I mean, it's going to have to happen, right? I mean, he doesn't think this is going to go away. So what's his strategy here? I have no idea what his strategy is, but I can tell you that he has compromised our investigation on the House side. And for that, I believe he should recuse himself. Chairman Noon has apparently said that uh, he does expect at some point the, the, the um, NSA to hand over a list of those unmasked names to your committee. Is that your understanding? When might that happen? Listen, I think that uh, the discussions about uh, the um, unmasking is really smokes and mirrors when you think about it, because what we should be looking at is the Russian investigation. If we can't have a continuation of our hearing until uh, the CIA and uh, the NSA directors and the FBI come back to us, then that's what needs to happen. Um, I really think that. Uh, the investigation has been stalled by his actions, and it's unacceptable. I think the American people deserve to have uh, an independent uh, commission working on this in conjunction with the House and the Senate um, uh, committees. We obviously should not absconce our oversight uh, requirements and responsibilities, but I really do believe that the confidence, the credibility, the integrity of our investigation has been compromised by our chairman. Well, one thing we know, I don't know if this is the strategy, or, or what way to put it, but he has said he's not going to go forward until FBI Director Comey answers questions. But obviously, uh, Comey appears not to want to appear before the committee unless the invitation is bipartisan. So for those of you who are concerned about the integrity of this committee, and he says he's not going to step down, how do you break this impasse? I think that we... Um uh, we who are trying to move this uh, this uh, investigation forward must provide that consent in a bipartisan way uh, to require um, or request that the FBI director come before our committee. Um, I really do believe, um, Chris, that all of this um, efforts have been to really um, take away from and distract from the major reason why we're investigating this. I think. All Americans, whether you're a Democrat or a Republican, should be appalled at the fact that Russia has interfered in our elections, and we have not gotten to the bottom of that yet. I mean, what became apparent in the public hearing is that they will do this again. So I do believe that the American public deserves to know how did this happen, will it happen again, um, what's the scope of this, and how can we prevent it uh, from occurring. When you talk about the American public, let me ask you finally, quickly, uh, whether or not it was your constituents uh, responding to all of this controversy uh, that, that was part of your decision uh, to move ahead to finally make your announcement. Uh, what are you hearing from people back home? So back home in Alabama, my constituents uh, agree with me that at the very least, uh, this chairman should recuse himself. I think that all of us are um, anxiously awaiting moving forward with this investigation. It's important to the American people. It's important to my constituency. And I do believe that we will continue forward. And I just hope that our chairman uh, will get his act together and, um, and help us move forward together as Republicans and Democrats. 
Congressman Sewell, thank you so much. Appreciate yes. your time. Thank you. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.